What's going on everybody, Deacon here. And to be honest with you guys, after uploading my fatherhood video, I was gonna do a complete 180 and just not even waste my time doing this video. Because when I was thinking about it and starting to write things down for this video, I was thinking to myself, man, this is gonna be the most animated video that they've ever seen me done here on YouTube. And they're just gonna hear just the raw truth about how I feel about Black Mamba. But then as I was brushing my teeth, I was thinking to myself, why are you gonna sit here and focus on a woman about your past when you have beautiful women who are here in the present who make you happy? And to make a long story short is because I told you guys I would do it and I'm not going back on my word. But I do have a different approach about how I was gonna do this video. Now there's three quick points I wanna get out the way before I even start talking about Black Mamba. Number one, I'm not talking about Kobe Bryant. Number two, a black mamba can be anybody. It doesn't matter if it's male or female, and it doesn't matter race or ethnicity. A black mamba is basically a person who they just strike, strike multiple times, and they're basically that venom is to go inside you and to destroy you from the inside out. This person is trying to destroy you both mentally, physically, and sometimes even financially. And number three is basically just the experiences I've had, not things that black mamba has done to other people, just basically what I personally experienced. I know for the past couple of weeks I've been hyping the fact that what my dad told me as I was growing up, in conjunction with this woman who he dated, who I call Black Mamba, basically drove me to the point where I almost said, I'm done with Black women in America. But here's the reason why. Black Mamba hit every negative stereotype you could possibly think of of a Black woman. To be honest with you guys, that's not really what bothered me. What bothered me was something that she said to me early on while they were dating. The only reason why you don't like me is because you've always been used to it just being you and your father. But you have to understand, your father has needs, and he has needs that I fulfill that you can't give him. So this is something you're just going to have to understand. I'm his girlfriend, and I'm not going nowhere. And she was right to an extent. But the only issue I truly had is I felt like she wasn't a woman good enough or worthy enough to be with a man like my father. But I looked up to him. This is a man that I wanted to be like. So knowing all these things but knowing the type of woman she was it just never felt right to me after my brother was born i started seeing a lot more physical abuse a lot more verbal abuse a lot more things that i said to myself like this is not what you should be doing in a relationship and if anybody knows my father my father is a very laid-back person and you got to do a whole lot to get him upset unless you mess with his children then all bets are off. But to see a lot of things that she did and the things that she was doing, I said to myself, this is not the type of woman I want. But because I looked so highly of my father and I respected him and loved him, my mentality was starting to be molded to think that if you're a good man, this is all you're worthy of and this is what you're gonna end up with? Because that's what I started saying. When it came to seeing the relationships between black men and black women that I was exposed to, they never turned out well. It always turned out to shouting. It always turned into some type of verbal abuse or put down or something. And it was never anything positive. And yeah, I had family members and stuff like that, but I wasn't around them as much to see how they dealt with certain things. I could only go by what I saw in my face. So that day when I had that conversation with my mother and she practically told me that I had options, it gave me hope. It opened my mind to let me see the fact that never let one person or one experience dictate how you're gonna feel about everyone else or everything else from that moment on. That basically, if I want something different, I have to do something different. It changed my mentality of my expectations and what to look for. That it didn't matter so much about the outside, but it mattered about the person who it was in. A black mamba can appear in any form and any type of person. I've seen two in my lifetime that basically when you're not on the good side, they do everything they can to try to destroy you and try to bury you. These are not good people. And I know many of you all, if you live long enough, you've experienced one or you've seen a black mamba. But I just wanna end it by basically saying I wasn't gonna just go ahead and do, do this whole bash fest and talk about somebody who isn't even in my life anymore and who I didn't, didn't wanna deal with. It taught me two things. One, I still love, honor, and respect my father and I think very highly of my father. I don't ever want anyone to ever think otherwise. But then two, it taught me you can admire your father but you don't have to be like your father. You don't have to make the same 
choices that he made in life, whether they were good or bad. You make your own decisions, you live your own life, and to think, to be able to learn something like that in my teenage years was a great thing. Because of that, instead of using those things as a crutch to say, you know what, and to be angry about it, I was able to use those things and say to myself, you know what, these are the negative things I need to stay away from. These type of people, who I call black mambas, snakes, you stay away from them. You always keep your grass cut low because then it's easy to see them and it's easier to identify them. And what I mean by keeping your grass cut low is being aware of the type of people that you're dealing with, know the type of people that they are, and put them in their proper places or just don't have them in your life at all. But that's all I have for you guys. Hopefully this video isn't too long, but if you like the video, click the like button, or if you have any other questions or comments for me, Leave them in the comment section below. And I mean, you can ask me whatever you want because this is not a topic I shy away from. I just didn't want to make this video super long. But as always, be wise. And until I see you guys next time.